What's going on guys, Jimmy Mahalik here, back with a second stimulus check update for you here today. And as you may know from my other recent second stimulus videos, a bill called the HEROES Act has just passed the House of Representatives, which is controlled by the Democrats, but the Republicans aren't in favor of it, so that kind of poses an issue. But the big news today is Republican Mark Cuban, you may know him as the billionaire owner of the Dallas Mavericks, and also from the hit TV show Shark Tank, has just recently announced that he thinks there should be a new program for families that gives a new stimulus of $1,000 every two weeks to families with one catch. Now, real quick, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free. And this way you won't miss out on other videos on the second stimulus check coming out. And also on this channel, I teach people how to make money from home and personal finance videos. So make sure you guys check those out later. So as you can see here, Mark Cuban says families should get $1,000 in stimulus check every two weeks. Now, this is actually pretty big news because he's a Republican and he's looked up to by millions of Americans. And the more Republicans we see that start to provide support for another round of stimulus might start to sway the Republicans to actually pass this next round of stimulus. I do for sure think there is going to be another round of stimulus. But as you know, the Republicans want to negotiate with the Democrats before they pass this next round of stimulus. Billionaire Mark Cuban says it's time for the government to push trickle up economics to save small businesses because the Paycheck Protection Program isn't cutting it. Now, this is actually kind of a new idea, and it's the exact opposite of trickle-down economics. Trickle-down economics, as you can see here, is also called the trickle-down theory, refers to economic proposition that taxes on businesses and the wealthy in society should be reduced as a mean to stimulate business investment in the short term and benefit society at large in the long term. And we have seen this recently with loans to businesses because if businesses are going out of business, they can't support employees, they can't pay workers their nine to five paychecks, and everybody starts to struggle. And in the past, we've seen bailouts for large companies that employ tens of thousands of people. But this idea is the exact opposite of that called trickle up economics. And what it does is it starts with the common man like me and you, and it gives money to the people. And what will happen is you give stimulus checks to millions millions of Americans and what do they do? They go out and they spend it on food, they spend it on rent, they spend it on their car payment, they spend it going out to restaurants and supporting small businesses. So what does that do? If they give money to the people, it goes out into the economy, which is actually a really good thing and probably even a better way to do it. As you can see here, Mark Cuban tweets, the only thing that will save businesses is consumer demand, meaning people actually go out and start spending money, they buy things, they buy goods. And as you can see here, that 70% of the US economy is based on consumer demand, people going out and spending money that's not necessarily just to house themselves and keep them alive, but to go out and spend money on additional things. He goes on to say, it's time for trickle up economics. We need transitional Fed job programs that trains and hires millions of people for federal tracking programs, as well as for support for at-risk populations, including long-term care. We need to get rid of unemployment with long-term stable jobs. Now, the catch to his proposed idea is that the $1,000 check every two weeks must be spent within 10 days of receipt or it expires. Basically, a use it or lose it program. Now, I don't think any Americans would have a hard time doing that because you could basically just go and pay your bills, maybe go buy food, go to a restaurant, support some small businesses, and the $1,000 will be gone pretty quickly. Now, he goes on to say that this program will cost about $500 billion, but that's actually a lot less than the last round of stimulus checks. The first round of stimulus checks that went out to Americans and a whole bunch of other programs was over $2 trillion. The HEROES Act that just passed the House is currently about $3 trillion, and this is only $500 billion, so one half of a trillion and 
All the money goes directly to you Americans, people like me, people like you, regular everyday people that need the money a lot more than big, huge businesses that already make billions and billions of dollars. So let me know what you think about this type of proposed program down below in the comments. Do you think it's better to have trickle up economics where we give money to average everyday people that are really struggling due to this pandemic that possibly are out of work? And I mean, we know that just the average everyday person really isn't like doing that great right now. So if we can support Americans and they get money, all they're going to do is go out and spend it. They're going to spend it on their mortgage, on their cars, and on small businesses, restaurants, food. And I think that that actually might support the economy better than you think. So let me know down below in the comments. Also over here, I'm going to link you some more second stimulus check updates. And if you haven't got your first stimulus check, I'll link a video right here for you also. Make sure you check that out. It shows you how to check on the status of your first check and why it may be delayed. And also on this channel, I teach people how to sell on Amazon. I have students replacing their entire nine to five income by selling just one product on Amazon. So over here, I'll link a playlist that teaches you how to start selling on Amazon. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.